what is going on welcome back to the YouTube we do have Olivia in the background making a guest appearance in the start of this vlog anyway today is Saturday the 26th of October and don't mind the beeping and we're four weeks out from WNBF Worlds in Boston and today we're gonna to run you through a bit of a full day of eating and show you what we've been doing and what we've been eating the past past fortnights and stepping off stage at the NBA Nationals. So obviously, as I said in the last video, we've been digging a bit. We're on, yeah, so today is a training day. So we're on 250 protein, 250 carb, 40 fat. Yesterday we actually had a high day, but we might touch on that later. Um, so yeah, we've been on that lower food for the past two weeks. We're trying to push today, so we'll take you through a bit of that. And yada yada yada. So, this is a full day of eating to get shredded, to get shredded glutes, and get complain. So, that being said, it's almost dark, uh, it's almost light outside, it's still dark. We'll be taking some check-in photos. We'll be doing some steps, all the bits and bobs. So, with that being said, ugh, how are we looking? Not much remnants of a tan anymore, but anyway, let's get let's get cracking with the day. So that is how we are looking at four weeks out. So we are really looking to get that condition and not saying that we weren't in condition for the NBA show, Nationals or even AMB, WNBF first show, NBA VIX, but WM, sorry, NBA VIX was like six weeks ago and we're still four weeks out from the, from the next show. Anyway, I've got my greens in here. So the inner dose, can I open it with one hand? Yeah, um, got my yeah inner dose greens, collagen as well. Been in the freezer for the last half an hour. It's an absolute treat. It's like chalky, chalky little milk, milkshake. It's also a good way to get your fluids in in the morning. Like this would be seven eight hundred mils of fluid. Plus, I'll take it from this bottle here. So. I'll finish the water from this, so I'll be like 1.5 deep for meal one, which is sorry, that very nice. <laughs> All right, quick shower and then meal one. We're in for meal number one. It's basic, it's chicken, it's rice. It's 200 grams raw weight chicken, 75 grams raw weight rice. And we've got our two grams normal salt, one gram low salt. I'm gonna sprinkle across there. What an absolute treat. Heat it up nicely, um, which is what I'm liking at the minute to have things, you know, kind of sizzled in heat, so. I'm gonna chow down on this. Watch some YouTube briefly. It's just gone 7 in the a.m. This is a nice little pre-workout, pre-push session meal. All right, just pulled up to the gym. What a glorious morning it is. It's a bit chilly, I'll say that. It is like, it's like six degrees, but 
it's gonna get to 21 and it's just pure sunshine it's very nice anyway um just to elaborate um obviously i noted before that we ran a high day yesterday it was a rest day so we ran 400 carb 250 protein 60 fat so that's uh on like regular rest day it's like a 200 carb bump and a 10 fat bump so decent work at cows um so hence I obviously woke up a bit <coughs> heavier body weight this morning i actually woke up yesterday the day of the higher carb day at 86.1 so officially under 190 pounds um so that was a prep low um, and then i was like a bit over a kilo up today but that was because i ate that last meal last night um quite late after getting home at like 8 p.m and then um yeah probably didn't digest it as much but still yeah still was fine so about a kilo up but not to worry so i don't think that hurt conditioning wise this morning in the check-in check-in shots um but anyway should fuel us for push this morning which is a good sign so we're in for push i'm actually going to film that on this camera obviously but um I'm going to stick the mic in, do a bit of a mic'd up with the road mics. Um, and have that as a separate video. So whether that comes out before or after this, I don't know. But you'll know because it either will be out or it won't be out. And it'll be the next video after this. So anyway, I'm going to go in there, get in there, get a sesh. I do have my intra workout, which will be, again, calories. So I've obviously got my 25 grams of highly branched cyclic dextrin. Five grams creatine, I've got my aminos, the ghost, sour, um, green apple, which are delicious, and my electrolytes in there. So that accompanied my water. I've also then got um, my pre-workouts. I say pre-workouts, plural, um, at that point where I'm splitting up my non-stim versus stim so my non-stim is paradise fruits grind and then i've got um the nexus pre um i can't remember what it's called it was just a sample um and i split it into two the sample purely because one serve or they one sachet in the sample was 400 caffeine 400 who's having 400 caffeine so i split it into two had um first half of it on Thursday's leg session um, when I train in the morning and the second half now so shout out rock subs um, so obviously the shake out got the sample from them as well and um, got the grind from them as well so I'm gonna now the rest of these and let's get after it Maybe just a slight bit runny, but gee whiz, the coverage on the way drizzle. Way drizzle, way drip, you know what I mean. Okie dokie, post workout time. So we've got 100 grams of cream of rice in the chocolate you see that? Chocolate brownie. Yep, chocolate brownie flavor. Very good, by the way. These are great. Um, I made it this morning, 
had it in the fridge and then when I got home from the gym, popped it in the freezer. Um, so it's gonna be nice and chilled and a good little treat. Um, and the way I do make this is, at the minute it's a one to six ratio, um, but you know, closer to a show I might do one to four to reduce the water volume and keep it consistent, but one to six um, tends to do the trick. Um, and I might've had some clips pre this on, you know, the stirring and the mixing it with the fork, etc. We've then got 50 grams of whey in the frozen banana flavor in the whey drip, whey drizzle on top. Um, and typically a one to one ratio is um, a good point of call when you're doing sludge um, on your whey. And then I had it in the fridge, so it sort of thickens up a little bit as well. Drizzle that on top, 150 raspberries, salt, and let's nail this. So yeah, there's not much to say other than I'm hungry. It's just after 11 in the a.m. <sighs> Let's eat. Alrighty, we've just gone food shopping and I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown on what I bought. This is as boring as it gets in terms of a competition prep. Food shop. So, um, I this will be pretty much the staples of what I eat in a day um, in terms of the specific um, items. So. Let's run through them. So from a protein source, we've got chicken breast. Um, I know in one of the last videos I had kangaroo, but um, not as frequent, so chicken is the staple. I've got eggs for the egg whites at the minute. Some days where the fats are higher, I'll do um, egg, egg yolks as well. And that's it for protein, obviously protein powders and all of that. From a carbohydrate source, um, we've got rice, oats which I didn't buy because I've already got enough and cream of rice which I've already got and then that's kind of it from a carbohydrate source then sort of trace carbohydrates I've got ras frozen raspberries they've been my go-to at the minute blueberries of course as well but less frequent um, and then we've got some zucchinis here for the veg and then dark from a fat source I've got 95% dark chocolate, peanut butter, and then obviously egg yolks when I do have those. And then obviously the trace fats that come through, let's say chicken, which is quite minimal. Got some water bottles, got some cinnamon to lather on my uh, cream of rice or oatmeals. And then I've got salt and low salt. And, that's, and if I think through my diet, that's pretty much all I'm eating at the minute. Um, so it's quite easy in terms of a shopping list of things that I need to buy. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But if I just reel off the things in my head of my different meals, this is all I eat. <sighs> it's all fun and games in a contest prep, but it does make it easier in terms of the food shop um, and variety and decision fatigue is quite minimal because you don't have to decide anything. You just know exactly what you need to buy. We're in for meal number three. It's about quarter past one. 10 egg white omelet. Yep, you heard that right. Just 10 egg whites and obviously salt. So I make it into a bit of a pancake and um, pop some salt in the middle of it. So it's just something that I've, <laughs> it's just a weird thing that I do um, because if I put the salt on top and then when you start cutting it, the sort of salt flakes disperse everywhere and you lose some salt flakes. <laughs> Weird, I know. But anyway, um, so I got 10 egg white omelet um, and I prefer to do actual egg whites and crack them as you would have seen as opposed to liquid egg whites. Why? I think it tastes better um, as opposed to actual eggs and yeah, liquid egg whites. I mean, they're fine, but I'm okay with cracking them. And I've, get, and I've been getting quite good at them anyway. Um, and it doesn't take too long anyway. I'm gonna wash it down, say wash it down. <laughs> Ghost, sour, 
green apple to have to get me through the Arvo. With that being said, obviously this is one of the 7-Eleven um, ones. Obviously the, the sour apple is one of the newer flavors there. Um, I say new, the last couple month or so. But the month of October, they've got two for eight bucks at 7-Eleven, so steal. Anyway, I need to know, pop them in the comments below, what is your favorite flavor of the Ghost, particularly the five that are on offer at 7-Eleven at the minute. So we've got the green apple, the orange, blue raspberry, watermelon, lemon lime. My personal opinion, I just love the orange. I don't know why, but it is just, anyway, uh, green apple is a close second. Watermelon is warming on me as we get deeper in prep and my taste buds are a bit, um, <laughs> a bit more powerful, but um, lemon lime's good, blue rice is good. They're all very good to be honest, I'd, ha I'd take all of them. <laughs> anyway, let's eat this. Some further time has now elapsed. It's about five to four. I'm hungry, but another carbless meal. So we've got a zucchini, uh, two zucchini sliced up, seared up, and 200 grams of chicken and some salt. It's nothing exciting. So I'm gonna eat this because I'm hungry. Uh, edit up some of the, the vlog and potentially go get some steps. It's quite nice outside. Um, it, the sun is shining, so I might try and soak it up. Get all the vitamins in and get the endorphins flowing because I'm a bit sleepy. <laughs> um, given I've been up since a bit after five um, and it's four o'clock now, I'm almost thinking, when's it bedtime? But anyway, I've got 1.5 litres of water to go for the day and that'll cap me off at the eight litres, which has been consistent for the past six weeks, at least 10 weeks, a while now. All right, let's eat. Okay, the time has come. It's time for meal number five and the final meal of the day. It's gone a bit past 6.30, it's time to wind down. Blue light blockers are on, I've showered, and it's ready to park myself on the couch for the next hour or so before bed. So, what do we have? We've got, I'm just gonna read it off my phone and my fitness pal, what we've got. We've got 100 grams of oats with a six times water, and as you saw how I made it, poured the, um, the kettle poured the kettle, poured the boiling water from the kettle um, on. So I did 600 ml water, 100 grams of oats. Um, let that cool, did that like an hour ago. And then mixed in 48 grams of cinnamon swirl whey. Um, and then on top it with 24 grams of peanut butter, 20 grams of dark chocolate, 170 grams of raspberries. Got my salt and cinnamon on top as well. So a nice little treat. And how did I make the oats? to make them thick and nice and spot on. Um, is I, yeah, so I did the boiling water in the oats, let that sort of soak in the oats, then mixed in the whey once it sort of cooled down to, I don't know, an hour, room temperature in about an hour. Then popped it in the microwave for a couple min, stirred it, another min, stirred, minute, stir, 
keep going until it sort of cooks a bit more and get really hot. So then, you know, the dark chocolate, the peanut butter and all that will melt nicely on top and it'll be, love that. Anyway, that's it for the full day of eating. And as you can see, I sort of prioritize carbohydrates at the start of the day around the workout when I, and around the training window. Then a couple carbless meals and then a nice carb and fat um, slow digesting meal towards the back end of the day to help me sleep and make me not wake up in the middle of the night starving. Even though I do wake up at times now, it's become more frequent like at early in the morning knowing that I'm starving and my stomach's empty. So 250 carb, 250 protein, 40 fat, that's it for the day. So that's been a full day of eating. Hope you've enjoyed it. That's how we're getting shredded. We've got four weeks to the first show. Until then, catch you in the next one.